vlog this will be a part of but um we've just got an extension for the well it's kind of basically for the garden um just a little one a couple extra meters um to get it from in here to out into the garden and i'm gonna mow the lawn callum's mum has mowed the lawn once before because um we were out and she brought the lawnmower around but i'm gonna be a gardening queen so yeah i'm gonna set this up and mow the lawn the weeding and i have just kind of gone over with a broom and some water my hands feel so dry and like gritty i hate that feeling here is the patio all nice and fresh feeling good because the washing will be done soon and then it can come in and i've cut the grass and it's just kind of like a nice little nice little area we just need we're not actually um i'll pop you up here for a sec while i have a drink um I'm just admiring my own garden but we're not actually planning on doing much to the garden this year we probably will end up getting a few bits i know callum's looking at like a little barbecue and we do have a little set from of chairs and a table for me and callum but i think ideally that that does us for now and that's what we were thinking is that will do us for this summer because uh, we're going to be getting loads of things done well not loads of things but we're doing things in the house anyway yeah so we're doing things in the house so we were like well that little table and chairs just the two seater will do us for um this year and then next year we'll probably get a four seater what we're going to be doing this year is getting some grass seed i think we're actually going to go this weekend so i might vlog this because the garden's like a bit of a it's not really a room it's going to be done next year i'm not going to save these clips for a whole year believe me so yeah i might that's where i might carry this vlog on to when me and callum go shopping this weekend so we're going to get some grass seed because we're going to grass seed the grass just to try and get it a bit more because there's some patches where it's not and it's in areas it's a bit sparse so yeah we're gonna get some grass seed on it and we're getting a hose pipe as well um so that will be good because then we can like give it a bit of a sprinkle every now and then saying that i don't even know where the outside tap is because i've had a look and there's not one here so it must be along like the side of the house um we'll soon find out and yeah, so I never obviously said the other day, but I got a little, I think it was like 3 dollars in Home Bargains and it's like a little retractable uh, zip line washing line. And I have just ordered this morning off Amazon uh, a washing pole so that it can be like propped up a little bit more because it's almost touching the floor. Um, but yeah, so we've got our little washing line in, we've got the pole, I've cleared the patio. Uh, we do have, I'll show you in a second, we do have quite a lot of like rubbish. Uh, I did a tip run two weeks ago so i think i should probably get another one booked in soon but we try and wait until it's like a full car load we want to extend the fence a little bit with some trellis and we want to kind of fill that bit out so this year the idea is to really mark out where we want the lawn and where we want other areas or like plant beds and things and then just to really replenish the grass and keep it healthy um and then next year will be a case of more looking into garden furniture, extending the fence. It'd be really nice to paint the fence as well. Uh, and then Callum wants to have a little look at the shed because part of it is rotting. So it would have been nice to like paint the fence and the shed and everything. So I would quite like a rich dark brown colour. But yeah, I'm not sure what what's everyone's opinions because I quite like the I quite like the look of the the dark brown fence. Callum's come home and he's bought us a shovel. You're just gonna have to excuse the state of me. Um, it's so to come on my face. I know my paint stuff because I am doing some filling. Um, we filled and sanded everything down and there's literally dust everywhere. I don't really wanna talk about it. Um, but I'm better at filling than Callum. So I'm doing like the second fill. I'd probably say that I've done like two thirds of it. 
so this is a little sneak preview. I've filled all around the door edges and all in like the seams across the top and the sides. And I've started doing here. Get it on. Anyway, I've just had this delivery and as I said, I'm gonna show you some garden things as and when we get them. So me and Callum have planned a little trip to home base or B&Q, we're not sure yet. Uh, at the weekends to have a look to see if there's we found a barbecue that we like on Argos but we're not 100% um, that we're going to get one but well, anyway we're going to have a look at them in whatever shop we go to I got a pole for the garden so that's obviously the bottom and it must be like a twist to lock one Callum is also collecting the hose, some down lights and a hook for the gate the house is a mess look at this this is what happens and we've kind of kept, put everything back in boxes in the living room to just um be able to get around and not leave dust everywhere so i've just got some little youtube videos playing out i'm gonna have something to eat now what time is it yeah so it's oh my god it's quarter to two I've been doing it for nearly two hours. But anyway, at least if it's... Oh, it's the uh, final board. At least if it's quarter to two now, I'll have all of this done by three o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna have a quick wrap and some crisps, watch a bit more YouTube, crack on with the other half of the walls and hopefully be done by about three, half three. And then I'm literally gonna hop in the shower. That's me done for the night. I was gonna see if I could do this um, and then go upstairs to do the whitewash on the wall. But I've decided that if I'm doing the filling and the filling's quite a hard job because everything's intricate. Callum is the painter, Callum's also the sander. So he can paint the wall upstairs. I don't mind doing the finer like woodwork bits and the cutting in and out, but he's doing the painting. So yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. Hello. Hello, thank you. Cheers. Let me get you in a solid position. Just had our Hello Fresh delivery. So we've had this oh We've had this once before when we lived with Callum's mum and dad and we did, that light like, is shocking. Still bad. Um, we did always say that we would probably try it at some point and my friend basically had one of the free things. Um, so Callum set up an account and we just thought we'd try it this week. Bit of a freebie trial thing really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna show you what's inside briefly. <laughs> Not an ad, obviously. Um, but it feels like the most sponsored thing in the world to kind of have. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to show you what it is, what we've got, what meals we chose. So we did choose, put them away. Um, and then, yeah, so I just thought I'd carry this vlog on. Um, oh, breath. I popped a blue water this morning to pick up our laundry basket. So I've got this down here in a nice next bag. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Um, and I also picked up two other like decorative items in next. So I thought that we could add them to the bedroom and this can kind of be the finishing the decor in the main bedroom and other stuff, housewise vlog. Because I've kept all of the house stuff so far to the master bedroom vlog, but now we seem to be doing it in little bits. So I think I'm still gonna do a main video for whichever room is renovated, depending on the room. So like the kitchen, pantry, will probably be slotted into a vlog somewhere, but I'm definitely gonna do like a, like the main, the master bedroom had to be one because it was such a big job. Um, and the living room is, you've seen parts of it on the homepage, it's getting done in bits, but the living room will probably be um, an accumulative vlog as well. But I think like the spare bedroom, the bathroom, the hallway will all just be bitty renovation vlogs. So it's five meals uh, for two people, it's two servants for each meal. So we chose to have the Herbie Burgers and Wedges, looks like this. I think we're gonna have this tonight. The only thing that put me off with this is the fact that um, it's with like a tomato salad and neither me or Callum like tomatoes. So they might be nice actually. Like I might try and roast them down loads because apparently they're like baby plum tomatoes. So if I do them in the oven, depends how they actually say to do it. But on the thing, they look quite raw, like a solid veg. Whereas I prefer roasted veg. Um, 
Then we got Chamolia Spiced Lemon Rice. Now, I don't really eat lamb or pork, apart from a sausage every now and then. Um, and bacon, actually, so that's alive. I don't like pork chops and I don't eat lamb, but this just looked lovely and I thought, well, it's worth a try. Do you know what I mean? If it's worth try in any scenario it's probably this because it'll be seasoned the nicest for lamb and i'm just not that intelligent when it comes to lamb then we chose curried chicken wraps that look like this again don't like salad so it'll just be the wraps for me but we move I, it's a problem that i don't like salad um but i let callum pick most of these and I, pro I probably should just pick them myself um creamy chicken and tomato penne pasta now this one looks quite nice. This has got spinach and cheese in it. Uh, it looks pretty bog standard, but yeah. And then we've got another um, one, which is a super quick penne beef ragu. Now this has mushrooms in. The mushrooms will not be included. Neither me or Callum like them, but this is the one that I actually like to think of. Um, but yeah, so I've just realised that Callum picked all those meals. So all of them are in his favour and none in mine. Anyway, I'm going to unbox this now. Let's see. This is what the inside of my box looks like. Um, so from previous experience, from uh, from previous experience, this bag here, I can't even get it out with one hand, is the um, what you call it, the the cold goods thing. What is this? I feel like there was something meant to be in there. Non-alcoholic G and T. There it is, non-alcoholic, crisp, dry, botanical spirit. Wonderful. I mean, if that's what you like, then that's what you like. Uh, right, let's get this out. What have we got? That's the only thing. Like, it says that it saves on waste of, like, food. But then, realistically, I think that the amount of packaging that this comes in is actually not that ideal. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put that stuff in the fridge. And I'm going to put these, the brown bags with all of the bits in. I'm probably going to put them back in the box and stick the box under the stairs. And then I'm going to take you upstairs to unbox the house bits. We have moved to the bedroom. So, let's unbox this. Basically, it's a, um, it's a washing basket. But, it is... Me and Callum were like, um and hour and on what to get. I'm not going to lie, washing baskets are expensive. Like... Unless you get like, I, you know what I mean, like it's absolutely fine to do so, but like unless you get, like I saw one in home bargains that was like still 12 quid for just this like little bag type thing that just wasn't a vibe. And then you can get some cheap other ones that are like not too bad, but if you want like a, a one that's actually just going to last that you can just buy and last, you need to spend a minimum of like 30 quid. And it's just like, it's just not the vibe. So let's see. Why is this? Okay, actually, to be fair, that's all right, but it just needs a bit, like, it's a bit misshapen. So this is the bad boy. Um, so this is where it's going to go. Let's just... As you can see, it's a bit this shape, and it needs to be... Do you know what I mean? It's meant to be circular. Um, where It's just where it's been flat flattened um which is why i feel like they should make them more readily available in stores maybe if i actually just crush it a bit you know what i mean like so there there is the washing basket it's just a shame because like i wanted one get back on the bed oh i wanted one that was like a rope texture that was like sturdy and held its shape exactly like that one the other thing that i wanted to do in this room which i am actually yet to give this room a tidy there's like i feel like there's claws you can see this is callum's little pile of claws that he likes to make but um our current decoration for our bedside tables is like t a little gray teddy on each of our things because we both just happen to have a gray teddy um but my little teddy is gonna go away i'm gonna put it in my pajama drawer because i do keep it because it's just like the cutest little thing ever. And look at it. It's a little jelly cat. But it's a little elephant. Oh, it's so cute. And it's still so fluffy. My mum got it for me when I moved away from home. Oh, you're all dusty. So yeah, I think I want to pop them away. 
And then what I've done is bought a um, black ornament for each of our bedside tables because up on the wall, as you can see, we have um, black picture frames with a black rim and that is the only thing, apart from the TV, in this room that's black. And obviously we've got like a lot of, basically it's all grey and white. And then I've got a bit of black, so I want a bit of black on each of our bedside tables. Um, and then we have got the neutral baskets up on the top of the wardrobe now and i was undecided so let me know in the comments what you think because i always have to ask like a million people for their opinion basically i was wondering whether to actually buy some black you know like black square boxes like i've seen some on amazon that you can get for about a tenner and um, like the ones that you put inside the ikea square like units so I was thinking, do I get two black things to pop up there? So then we have black up there, black on the bedside tables, the black TV, the black frames, and then everything else be grey and white. Um, and it's not like we've picked one tone of grey either. We've got like multi-tonal, you can see that here. And then you throw the dressing table in, that's a whole other different colour. So, yeah, I just wanted, I want the black to be featured a bit more just to make it work so i'll show you the ornaments i've got in a second but let me know what you think about these boxes do i keep them neutral or do i change them to black so the two things that i got i saw this ages ago in next i absolutely love it and it's basically um that is that is what you think it is and there's the bum um so it's basically just a black candle and to be fair i didn't realize it was a bum at first um, because it just looks really nice and I don't really intend on burning it because I really like the actual vase bit um, but it's basically it's from next and it's the flavor is warm sandalwood which I'm normally a, a fresh linen type of girl but this candle it just smells really nice like it's kind of like a musky vanilla is the only way I can describe it Maybe other people have a different um, interpretation of sandalwood, but from what this candle smells like, it just smells quite musky and I really like it. This is the vibe it's going to leave, is like the black in with the black, oh yeah. So anyway, there's the candle and then the other thing that I picked up was the matching reed diffuser, looks like this. This is the... Um, the little reed diffuser so that'll be my my little person I'll obviously undo the reeds and then that can sit on the other bedside table so I'm quite intrigued to see how this is gonna look so I'm gonna put you on charge now I'm gonna pop this out I'm gonna give the bedroom a nice refresh revamp and then I think I'll show you the bedroom once I'm done I have done the bedroom I'll show you that in a second and um, this is the current state of the spare bedroom um, and basically tomorrow we're blue grit in the ceiling which is basically an adhesive and then hopefully we'll be getting it plastered within the next couple of weeks. Um, so, in preparation for that, because I basically have all of my desk stuff here, I'm going to use this grey bag on the chair and I'm basically going to put in a makeup bag, I'm going to put in my hair dryer, my straighteners, my jewellery box and anything from these little plastic drawers down here that I think that I will need. Um, basically all the essentials because I don't use half of this stuff every day um, and yeah so I'm gonna have that bag in the bedroom down my side of the bed as everything I need I think I'm gonna basically empty these out and pop it in a box for the loft and I'm going to throw out those boxes at Callum Brock them in the move which is fine because they were plastic I've had them for about five years um, but I had looked after them quite well but despite that uh, because they're a little bit broken i am basically going to be buying a nice like that basically i've seen a little set of three drawers from Denelm that will work perfectly with the wood of my dressing table but will slot perfectly underneath to make life easier because i am not going to be dusting individual bottles of self-tan once this is all over uh so yeah i'm gonna do that now it's a little later on now. I actually forgot to charge the battery. Well, it was plugged in, but it wasn't switched on. So, the battery's now charged. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you upstairs. So, this is all the stuff that's going into the loft because I did sort out the spare bedroom, which I will show you too. All nicely done. This is ready to go into the bathroom. I'm going to keep that out so I get it done. Box is tidy and the bedroom's looking pretty neat. These bed sheets 
Callum basically needs to stop folding them because they look so creased. But do you like my little candle on the bedside table and reed diffuser on that table? Um, and then from the spare bedroom, I've brought in basically all the things I would need to get ready on a morning and a mirror because, like I was saying, I sorted out that bedroom. Um, ready for plaster and painting, everything um, of the above. Because then I, I don't want to have to keep going into there to get ready where my dressing table is. I'd rather get ready in there in like a makeshift zone. And then just come into here once it's all ready. So, this is another two bits that need to be put in the loft. Because downstairs is so dusty, I'd rather just pop this away until further notice. Because we, we have our dressing gowns, we don't need the blankets right this second. Um, all of this is ready for tomorrow. That needs to go in. Oh, the cupboard is free now. I put that in here because I couldn't get to the cupboard. Um, dressing table's covered over. And we have a little cupboard round here, which I have fully emptied. So we're all ready and raring on that front. And then if we head, I've got such a saw. I've got like three ulcers on the inside of this corner. So painful. Um, but if we head back downstairs, you will see that it is so tidy. Um, well, yeah. So, very minimal on the box front. And in the kitchen, I have just started preparing our dinner. So, I am making, tonight we're having the Herby Burgers and Wedges. I've kind of amended the amount of herbs that are going in there because the parsley, I'm just... It's, I like basil, I like the smell of basil, parsley not so much. So I've only put a little bit in, like I've reduced it down quite a bit and I'm going to add some, gar well there's garlic clove in there. Um, but yeah, I'm basically preparing that. So I've got my little panko breadcrumb herby mixture in here and I'm about to make the beef patties. The burgers, I wonder what this red wine's for, it must be for the tomatoes. I'm going to have a read uh, on ahead. And the wedges are all prepared and ready to go in the oven. We are in full on dinner mode now. Um, I have decided to attempt my own thing with the tomatoes. Because like I said earlier, neither me or Callum really enjoy tomatoes. And it was a raw tomato salad thing. So I've actually just put them in here with garlic, oil, red wine, the sachet that they had. And I'm just going to like let them go really soft in the oven uh, I'm gonna hope that works basically look at them go yummy 